everyone, welcome. Today is Thursday, July 7th, 2022. I am Salaclu Sister, and this is my turn to talk. Hey, Frankie, you're number one today. Petty Deb, welcome, girl. You are number two. Well, Sal, uh, <laughs> I'm reading what you said. How are you, Sal? I'm about to say I am doing well, Sal. I am doing well, Frankie. I am I am doing well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so today I want to talk about death. Can you cheat death? Is that possible? And final destination, for those of you who uh, know or maybe do not know, it is from the movie Final Destination. And that is where I am getting this topic from. Um, okay, so if anyone is, hey, Crazy Town, welcome, welcome. So if anyone is familiar with these movies, um, I've watched the first three, I do believe. The first one fascinated me <laughs> because, you know, um, can you cheat death? I mean, is it possible? Do you guys believe that? When it's your time, it is your time. Now, in the first movie, um, you know, these kids are going, you know, on a trip. I think they were going to Paris or something like that. And one of the kids got this premonition that the plane was going to blow up. But he, you know, I'm not going to say he freaked out, but he got his butt off the plane. And a couple other people got off the plane with him. A couple other students got off the plane. And the plane did, in fact, blow up, you know, shortly after takeoff. And then as the movie goes on, um, every one of the, you know, students that got off the plane, one by one, they died in some hor horrific way. I'm going to use that term because um, I think they died as they were intended to die. Meaning, when I say that, I mean that in a violent way of, you know, a plane crash is a violent way to die. So having said that, do you think it's possible to cheat death? Do you think that when it's your turn, that if for whatever reason you, you know, get a feeling and you leave someplace or um, if you were supposed to go to a concert and for whatever reason you didn't go, you know, either you did something wrong, your parents said you couldn't go or your car broke down or something. And um, there was a fire at the concert or something like that. And um, everyone died or the majority of people died. Do you think that you cheated death or were you just lucky or were you just blessed that you weren't there? So, 
when you see things that happen in the news um or you or you know if things happen and you say to yourself i should have been there um welcome t gun um you know i i should should have been there or i was supposed to go and you didn't go are you cheating death so again i'm getting this title from from the movie you know whatever but i thought it was i thought it it was interesting so um crazy now says i need to watch them again you know crazy i um what i was thinking when 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 i saw this title pop up because because i was watching tv and it popped up and it said you know do the marathon of final destination whatever and i and i missed it so i looked it up and it's actually coming on again <laughs> on um I think it's on the pop channel. I'm 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 not sure, but I um I'm already going to re record one, two, and and three because I am going to watch them again. Um. So um. Okay. So you're saying yes and no. So <laughs> I got to know what you're saying. Okay. Uh. No, you didn't in that case. In in my opinion. Okay. Are you talking about in terms of cheating death? You're saying no that you can't. Oh, if you didn't go. Okay, but okay, okay. I'm okay. No, you don't think you can. Okay, well, I know we're all at some point we're we're going to die. I do believe that, you know, um, I do believe in God, and I do believe, you know, that He has His book. Hey, crazy's coming up. First time. Welcome, welcome. Um, I do believe that God has this 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 book. Um, you know, where our names are are written down. Uh welcome, Power Girl. Okay, crazy. Okay, so you have the mic. All right, let's see if it works. Okay, okay you're very faint. You're 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 very faint. I know Pot Pie Beans been they did some up uh grades a couple of months ago. It seems like some people come in faint, then they come back. So let's see, welcome Power Girl. Hmm, Blasky. You are new. All right, can you hear me now? Yes, yes, loud and clear. Thank you. Okay, so I only have a few minutes because I'm technically at work, but I, I noticed that I was answering questions as you were asking them. So it was like, um, so my my two answers that I gave was, I don't believe you can cheat death, but I'll give you the scenario in which I don't believe that. And then I'll give you the example of when I think you, you're not cheating death. How about that? Okay. Okay, so if I, if, if I go somewhere, right, I'll just tell you, first of all, I believe when you're meant to go, you're meant to go. So I'm not scared of death. I am, however, scared of the way I would go. <laughs> so I know it's going to happen. I don't want it to be like extra painful. But like, let's say. <sighs> if you cheated it, 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 cheating it for me would think of um something that was inevitable, right? Like you really should have died, right? There was no exit. There was no, somehow, some way you got out of it and everybody else, you know, didn't, and you have no clue, right? You have no idea how in the world you got out of that situation without dying, right? I feel like that's how, if I did that, I would feel like I cheated death, right? But if I didn't go to a place, and it caught fire and that happened to those people i would not feel like i cheated death at that point that would be the difference in my opinion like it's hard to explain what was in my head but like when you were asking the questions i was like no you know yeah can, can, i don't think you can cheat it i think if you're meant to die you're going to it's going to happen when okay. it's supposed to happen all right so let's let's think about the movie Okay, and I do know of some people who, when they get on a plane, they they get nervous and they get off, 
not saying that the, mm-hmm. something, something's going to happen, but they get off for whatever reason. I don't, I don't, you know, this just doesn't feel right. So if you look at that movie and say that all of these students were supposed to be on this plane and they were supposed to go to this destination, but you know, for whatever reason, you didn't feel right. Or you're looking at me and you're like, well, why is Sally getting off? If she's getting off, then I'm getting off too. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. and there are some people that are doing that, you know, because, you know, because I, hey, I get feelings and I, yeah. if I get a strong enough feeling, I'm out. I'll, right, I'll be right. honest for real. Right. So when you, so is that cheating death because you got off the bus or you got off the train or you I don't got off the so. plane and you were, but you were supposed, you had a seat, you were assigned, you were about to go, you checked in, you did all that. But, but I count that as divine intervention. Like you, if you have such a strong feeling, that means that something, something is pulling you out of there for a reason, whatever reason. So like, I don't know that that's cheating death or just, ex, you know, just, you're just kind of extending your death a little longer because you're still going to die. It's it's not that you cheated it. You know, you're just extending it for another period of time. But why divine intervention for you and not for the person next to you? Mm, and that's a million dollar question <laughs> because yeah. I believe in purposes, to be honest with you. And I'm not saying that one person's life is not have any more purpose than the next, but if you were, if you're ready, if you're supposed to be called home, you're supposed to be called home. There could okay. have been a million reasons for that. Right. You know, I mean, I, the, I, I've had conversations about this and you can go rounds and rounds for, for whatever reason. And, mm-hmm. and you can give logic and you can throw opinions and universal signs and all kinds of stuff in there. Right. So maybe it was your time, but all of a sudden it was like, wait a minute, you actually didn't fulfill this. So, you know, you get these butterflies and you're like, Hmm. Okay. So was it gas or was it divine intervention? I don't know. Maybe it was gas and you just like, oh, that's a sign. Maybe I should get off the, you know, the bus. I don't know. You know, but I, I don't think you could cheat it. You can't cheat it because you're going to die regardless. I guess if you're asking, you know, um, the reasons well, why we die at this, you know, at this time versus that time, you know, I don't no, know. It's I mean, so- I'm. I'm I'm just saying um welcome Dina Joe. I'm I I'm just saying that okay Dina. so again I'm just referring to, to to the movie and uh Frankie says to Crazy Town love your con your your conversation and I love your chat so I'm happy I'm oh, took the picture up here thank so, you. yes so I want to call in all the time but I'm always at work and I'm like I know hey, I know I I do yeah. in, the, in the middle of, of the afternoon but you know <laughs> I I just want to know um Okay, so again, going back to the movie, and these people got got off the plane, and one by one, they started to die. So do you think that's possible? Do you think that if you were supposed to be here, or if you, you know, um, were stepping out in front of a bus, and someone pushed you out of, of the way, you're happy that they push you out of the way, but were you really supposed to get hit by by, by that bus? And then, no. But yeah. is it possible that next that next week you can be in a car accident or something and you can die? Yeah. See. Yeah. So that's 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 a little bit different. You're throwing in some variables there, right? So somebody intervened. It wasn't a sign. It wasn't a feeling or whatever. So that person cheated your death. So like. You were, e- but isn't that still divine in um, in, um, um in intervention if someone is still well, there for you that God or whomever puts put that person there to pull you out of, of the way? Yes and no, because it all it could be divine intervention, but it also could be free will. So okay. all right, see now I'm really you, me. You, you, <laughs> you can't get, get me into the details. weeds here. Okay, <laughs> no, I mean I I I like it because I'm throwing it out. You're throwing it right. Right, right back to me. So, okay. So, all right. All right. So, but I do believe in that, though. I mean, don't get me wrong. I am a huge believer in the universal connections and interventions. And, you know, I, I'm heavy into that. So, like, there, that's why, it, but it's also tough because I have an analytical mind which wants to put logic in, but that's not always. You're a movie, that movie, if I'm being real with you, I'd have to watch it again because it didn't make an impression that big of a, it was a good movie. Don't get me wrong, 
but I could sit there and pick that movie apart all day long. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right. Well, since I only have you on a limited time here, <laughs> I, I want to ask you this. Sure. Um, if you knew the, the date and time that you were going to die, would you do anything different or let, okay, I, I, I have two questions. Would you want to do anything different or if someone said, crazy, I can give you the exact date and time that you are going to, to die. Do you want to know? Would you want I to know? I don't want to know. Absolutely not. Because if I knew what day and time, I, I could sit here and tell you that that would not affect me because, you know, I'm strong minded and this and that. But I'm going to tell you the minute you know something, you can't unknow that. And, and I feel like in life, ignorance is bliss on a certain level. I wouldn't want to know the date of my demise because what if I then take my the wrong start making bad decisions because I'm making rash decisions because I'm extra worried about stuff you know because honestly and I'm I, I can tell you I'm not prepared you know I should be you should prepare for that stuff before it becomes a no you know like inevitable and if you're if you know that date and you know that date and time that I'm gonna tell you me that would stick stick right here in the back of my head and I would never forget that and every decision I made from the time I found out till that time would be based on that and probably a lot of bad decisions. But do you think that rationale. they would really but do you think that they would really be be bad? I mean, do you don't you think that your decisions would be more thought out because you would want to make the most of of your life I mean, you don't you don't want to do something bad that could you know um land land you in jail or of course or, or, oh or, not or, like or that not like that someone um right but, mm -hmm. i mean i'm just saying but when you, you make decisions where <clears throat> you're more thoughtful and things that you know you have your you know list of things to do or um you, maybe you'll spend more time with your parents or your kids or what whatever your dog whatever so now you're throwing variables in <laughs> so, that is now, what I do. I have to. Yeah, so. and, and that's fine. That's fine. But see, then I, I'd have to pick apart every scenario because look in my scenario, if I found that out today, okay, someone told me that. Um, I don't have parents to worry about. Not um, and my son's grown. I don't have animals that are a problem because my you know, I have that part of it figured out, like that part, you know, I have life insurance, I have stuff like that. You know what I mean? So Maybe not when I say rash for me, just I'm just speaking on on me alone because I'm a I'm a way overthinker. I'm I'm super I think of 59 scenarios that did not happen but could potentially happen. So like if I knew that I the variable being the person, so me knowing that date might completely unravel my mind. Maybe I'm not stable enough to know that date. With somebody else, it might put them in and put their life in perspective, and it might give them a chance to put everything that they should have done into high gear. But in both cases, that means that there's something that we need to work on in our lives, right? Because that date shouldn't affect how whether you're prepared for that date or not, because we know that date is inevitable, right? All right, all right. So, so let me ask 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 this then. Um, do you think, and again, no offense to anyone who may be going through this, this is, I, I'm literally looking at, can you cheat death? <laughs> so do you think that people who have cancer or have, you know, um, uh, uh, you know, they need a, you know, transplant or, or something like that and they get it, or you go through some type of what uh chemo or something do you think that's cheating death um no because i think for me at least from my opinion you have the right to try to hold on as long as possible because again because my belief is if it's your time to go you're gonna go regardless of what you're doing so you might have had chemo right you're trying to save yourself from a disease but if it's your if it's your time to go, you may leave that hospital, leave your appointment and, you know, meet your demise after that. So that's 
that's why it's kind of hard for me to, I would be, that's hard pressed to answer that because there's also a lot of variables. Okay. So if people who have a, a D, a DNR, mm -hmm. um, that, so you would classify that that's, in terms of free of a free will. Free will. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, because, sorry. No, no, no I, I was just going to say, so people who don't respect someone's D, DNR because, you know, oh no, you know, I want you to be here, you know, whatever. Do you think that you're cheating them out of death? Does that make sense? Yep. And I'll tell you why my opinion on that is, is because that, that comes from a conversation I had with my dad when I was a kid. He had a DNR and he told me when I was really young, I mean, I was, I grew up fast, so it was, you know, not a bad conversation, but he told me, he was like, do not let them. He goes, I don't want to live like, cause when the variables come into play here, right? How, how long were they out? How, you know, was it, was it, a stroke that you're bringing them back from? Are they going to have to be on machines? Because my dad told me, if I got to be on a machine and you don't cut me off, you know, I don't want that. And so you're taking away somebody's rights. You're 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 using your free will and what you want to do, not what they want to do. So I feel like if someone has a directive, you should match that. You should meet that directive. It doesn't matter because you're not supposed to do based on your emotions. You're doing something that somebody asked you to do for a reason. Yeah, you know I mean, oh. so. So, um, again, getting in, in into the weeds here. So, if you don't <laughs> respect someone's DNR, because I would want one. I, you know, if I'm, you know, have cancer or something like that, you know, or if mm -hmm. I'm going to be hook, hooked up to something, number one, I don't think it's fair for my family to go through that That's and then right. spend spend all all this money. I prefer you to I I die you you grieve and you go on instead of Me prolonging too. it. You know, so do you think that um this is a little off topic, but still with the cheating death and everything, since <laughs> since you disrespected my DNR, be it a doctor who just wanted to, you know, could not just allow you to die or your loved one or whatever, can I sue you? Yeah. And should I be able to win? Yeah. Because you're, I mean, because obviously it depends on how you come out of that. You know what I mean? You may not ever wait. Who knows what happens on the other side of someone bringing you back, right? Mm -hmm. Having you hooked up, whatever. So because maybe not sue for money, but sue and then let them know that, hey, you know, like, I, I mean, it, it's God variables kill me to death. Um, <laughs> um, so like, it depends on who it is. Okay. Obviously. And you're going to be like, I, me personally, I would be highly upset. And if it was anybody other than somebody that I truly loved to death that I would not sue, I would sue your ass off because if it was a hospital and you had that on file and it was clear, you are in the wrong and you are prolonging you you're, you're causing more suffering some in some of those cases for no reason there's not because they can't kill you again if they res resuscitate you they can't go oh sh oh shit you got dnr gotta kill you right you know right. what i mean so right. now now until you die again you are either suffering or somebody is suffering and somebody should be held accountable for going around somebody's res wishes that's just respect for me you know so all right. So again, I got to get all my questions in before you say you, you, you have to leave. So, <laughs> so going full circle, coming back to can, can you cheat death? Um, I believe that God put doctors on earth for a reason. I believe that they were created to help. And, you know, over the years, things have Im improved. The doctor from 1802 you know, did not know as much as a doctor from 1902 and the doctor from 1902, you know, and so, so forth, so forth. Agreed. Agreed. But at the same time, do you think that when some of these doctors who come in and they perform these miracles and they save you and they do all that, again, is that cheating death? Were you supposed to die? But then someone comes in and they operate on on you and you don't die i mean is that a way of cheating death 
Um, I will say that my opinion on that is if you caught it to where it can be fixed and somebody has that skill to fix that thing, I think that's because all of that to me, talent and skills and stuff is God given, right? Mm -hmm. So if you have the talent to fix somebody else to mend their temple and it wasn't it wasn't necessarily a fatal thing to begin with, but became fatal for whatever reason. Again, variables, which I won't get into. Or I could go on for hours, but <laughs> you, you're, you're, that's different because just remember that some people don't catch stuff that could have been operable at one time until it's not operable, right? So you, you, that's also, you'd want to ask that too. Okay, so why didn't we catch that? Who? Why didn't we have some intervention early on? Because there was a person that could fix that, right? But if there is somebody that can fix it, you catch it. I feel like that's different, but I'll also give you my other side of that too. I think that a person has also the right to refuse treatment. Um, a lot of people give a lot of people crap. They're like, oh, you could so fix that. Why are you, why are you so hard headed? Just look. You know, sometimes it's just like that. So, well, okay. So, if people refuse, then should parents who refuse, should parents who refuse to take their kids to the doctor and their children end up dying? They should be held accountable because you're what? responsible for the welfare of another person. If you are responsible for them, those kids don't have DNRs, right? They right, don't have that. If, okay, but if, but would we, but if, if, if an adult, and I'm playing both sides here, if an adult uh -huh. refused treatment, would they be treated the same way as you not, as, as you're refusing treatment for your child? No, because again, you're looking at free will for your own temple. You're not responsible for somebody else's temple. That's why like power of attorney, right? Things like that. Like you're, you're giving someone else um, your free will if you give someone else power of attorney too. So that's another side of the coin. You know, there's so many different things. If you, neglect is neglect. And if you have a child that's sick or a, a grandparent or whoever that's in your care and you are responsible for and you don't care enough to do that, I think that you should be held responsible for that in some way, shape, or form. Whatever that is, is obviously, you know, based on what it is, but. Okay. All right. Crazy town. I'm just tickled that you came up here. <laughs> I'm glad I got a chance to. No, because every time you're in the chat, you're always saying stuff. I'm like, damn, I wish you would just come up, you know, but I did. I know people are, are at work and everything and, you know, so, but thank you so much. Yeah, I always, I love, I love discussions like that. And most people don't know that I even can get serious, but I, I said not on my show, just on other people's shows. Just that's why I get, shows. yeah. <laughs> so I was like, and that's why I was like, right now, I was like, oh, I'm answering questions and she's not, I was like, I got to try to call up and see if I can at least, because I, I mean, it was, it's an interesting topic. All of them are, but it's so, I, I'm one of those. And you get up here and you can ask JP, who's on that one here. Like I, I pick everything apart. I mean, I, I I have the spiritual side and the logical side that constantly go at war together. So it's, if someone <laughs> gives me something and I can't answer it directly because I'm thinking 15 reasons why else, I'm, I want answers to those other questions before I give a direct answer. Because that's why I always say, in my own opinion, I'm only using myself as an example, you know? Okay. If it's right. tough like that, I mean, you, you're you going to think something different because your situation and mine are not the same, even if the situation is similar. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Well, I am going to hop over to Saturday uh, Night Smoke Saturday. Thank you very, thank you so much for uh, being patient. And do you want to comment or push back on what I said or, or, or what Crazy said? Or you want to throw in your own five cents or dollar $1.50? <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Hey, good afternoon, Solid Blue Sister. Crazy. Uh, Solid, you can call me JP, John Paul. Okay. All right. Um, Saturday Night Smoke is a hard, hard, long thing to say. Well, that's, that's why sometimes I, I just say smoke sometimes. So, you yeah. know, so. <laughs> All yeah. right. So what do you think? I, I think, um, I mean, it's one of these weird conundrums because it comes down to personal choice, but at the same time, 
if you're responsible for like children is what got me right because you hear all the time about you know children who have cancer or something and then you know the parents are real religious and they don't you know go to the doctor or whatever and to me that's just not right but that's my own opinion it doesn't really mean anything but that's why i i I just feel for like the people who have to make those decisions like the judges and other people because they're like in a it's not necessarily a no-win situation but it's impossible to to make those right choices all the time Mm -hmm. and you know i i don't want to be them but i I, I'm not a religious person, but I pray that they make the right decision, which doesn't make any sense. But. Okay, well then let me ask this because you came in after um, what well, after I started my thing when the show first started. Um, when do you think it's possible that if you were on a plane and I'm and the, the title is coming from, from from the movie and you got off? for whatever reason, you felt something or someone else was getting off and you're like, well, I'm getting off too. And then the plane crashes or blows up, whatever, or you're on a bus or whatever. Do you think you cheated death because you should have been on that plane? I don't think so. I I don't think cheating death. I mean, I, I kind of feel like not that everything is preordained or whatever, but your, your, your time on earth is, that already and it, it that to me it's not like a religious thing so much as it's just you know we we all make choices and consequences and stuff like that and it just ends up the way it ends up and so i i wouldn't say like i cheated death if i got off a plane that crashed I, do you I think there's lucky. a such do you but, feel lucky okay do you think there's a such thing as cheating death I, it's probably just semantics, but I don't think so. I, I, like I said, I think I think that everyone's time, it's already been determined. Like, and not, yeah. not, that, not that everything is already determined, but like your time on Earth is already determined. That's, I'm solid. That's, I'm sorry. I, I'm not trying to interrupt, but I, I do need to drop down and I actually have to leave because I have okay. that I mm-hmm. just came up. But I appreciate you. I'm sorry, JP. And um, I wish I could stay because I. Huh, what's that? I appreciate you, crazy. <laughs> and I appreciate you, solid, and you guys. And I, I want to come back and I would love to have any conversation. Just know that you got to. <laughs> you got to reel me in sometimes, but I appreciate you guys. I'll, well, crazy. I, go. I, I, I will say this really quick. You're someone mm-hmm. who uh, uh, Ba and I should have on our friendly differences because, yeah, we can really get in, into the weeds there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. I've, I've wanted to come up for a couple of those, but I couldn't. But soon, though, I will be back, though. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Okay. So, um, so, do you think that again I do believe that everyone has a time. But do you believe that some people's times come too soon? Oh, they absolutely. Weren't? Okay, so was it really their time then? Like if if you can't cheat death, then was it really your time? I'm yeah. I'm, I'm trying to make sense here. <laughs> I know what I want to say, but you know yeah i mean i i guess so like when you're saying like cheating death so like if somebody was in just a, some world just imagine that you're gonna live till you're whatever 70 years old and for some reason you live to be 72 you know i don't know that that's cheating death i mean you you could eat well right and exercise and all that other stuff and that in a way is cheating death and if you think about it, but it, I don't know that it's really like, um, like a one for one correlation. Like, well, that's, well, and that's, and that's why, you know, I have the title again, going, have you seen any of the final, um, yeah, destination yeah. movies? No, they're, okay. They're... So, so, you know, that's, that's why I'm, that's why, you know, I, I'm asking that, 
you were supposed to be a certain place. You were supposed to do this. You were supposed to be on, on that. And then you left or you got off or someone said, you know, come on, we have to leave because I have this feeling. But you were supposed to be there and something happened. Everyone else died and you didn't. Yeah, but I mean, if you were supposed to be there, then you were you would be there. Maybe you were not supposed to be there. It was shit happens, and it like that's, you know, that's what it is. yeah, it's, I believe caps, in a strong caps, caps, oh, sorry. caps, caps. <laughs> I'm I'm getting to you, caps. Okay, so Saturday. Okay, so again, if. First of all, those movies, they fascinated me. Some people may say, you know, oh, they were silly, whatever. But it fascinated me on the whole thing about death. That through this whole movie, that even though these kids get off this plane, or I think another time it was they were supposed to be on, in, um, on the freeway or whatever. It just fascinated me because someone got this premonition. Final Destination was one of the yes, best films yes. made. So again so again my question is are you cheating death so saturday i mean i i just go back to i don't think i don't think it's cheating death like and again i think it's probably just semantics or whatever but if if i choose you know not to fly at all ever that doesn't mean that I was going to die in an airplane crash. No, but that means that you could die instead of flying. You decide to, to take the train. You can get into a, a, a train a train wreck, right? Right, right. But I mean, I'm saying like, so. But who's to say like that? That's how you're supposed to die. So, okay. All I, right. I mean, I could be wrong. I mean, I, I like those movies mainly. The, but I don't. I, it just seems fun. I mean, it's obviously it's a movie, so it's made up or whatever. But yeah, it's I fiction. Think like, it's fiction, man, obviously. But I think, like, my wife has been watching Murder, She Wrote. I, I, and I don't know, Solid Blue, if you remember yeah, Mur I Murder, do remember She Wrote. She wrote. Mm -hmm. But the thing that was so funny to me, and I remember thinking this as a kid or whatever, watching it, is, like, wherever she went, someone died. It's like, well, if I saw her, I would just leave. I don't want to die. You know what I mean? Like, it was just it's just fiction it's just like that's what the story is it, you, you had to have a death there <laughs> all right all right so, so, i don't know it's, I, it's probably right. just semantics like i said all right well caps is caps is he is waiting he's okay caps go ahead you you have the mic it is your turn caps now he doesn't want to talk. <laughs> now you don't want any other time caps and talking. Now you I don't want to smash my fucking phone up, my <laughs> mommy. Oh, you and those f bombs just love them. I got too many things going on in my house at once. One minute, give me a second. <laughs> oh boy. Well, uh, while we're waiting for uh, caps, I'm, I'm ready. Um, Saturday. I'm ready. I'm ready. Right, okay, you're so, ready. Okay. So, let me hire this shit because I can't fucking hear. Yeah. So, like, yeah, you're talking about Final Destination movies, so to, so to speak, yeah. Well, I'm and, using and, that as I'm using that as an example. Guy. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, with me, I I truly believe that you're actually when I was younger, you, you all think you're infallible when you're young, don't you? You think that you're purely infallible. You. You, 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 you know, like, you can't be touched and all that for, you know. And as you get older, you learn. And so when I watched Final Destination, like, yeah, it's, it, what that teaches you is actions. It's like, if you're wise enough not to be put in a position where you could, be in that position, you know, without the fiction side. Like where, okay, oh, but okay. okay, but how can you be wise enough if you're getting on an air on an airplane and you don't know if the plane's going to to blow up? So no, that no, but yeah, don't get me wrong, but that's fear. That that's like that's like uh, just enhancing someone's fear of flying on an airplane because the majority of the case that doesn't happen, you know. 
like if you you know you know so you, you got to look at it from a you got where are you where are you going with it you know what i mean you but know, people like do have action. a fear of flying though people do have a, a no fear no of... of course of course i understand that people have a fear of heights but obviously they choose not to go high you know, because they don't like it. So everyone to their own, but you don't change things in order to make it. Um, hello, Bar. I hope you're doing well. Uh, but you don't, I don't know, like, you know, I, I understand where you're coming from, but you've got to look at it from the other view as well. Definitely, you know, like, you know, like the fear factor is a fear factor, but. We're still going to do it. Like, okay, but I'm someone not, could okay, say but, to me, I could go on a ship. I could go on a boat. I'm not, okay, but I'm not talking about fear. I'm talking about cheating death. Yeah, but cheating death is like a fear. Like, all right, and so I, I have, I, I'm not going to lie. I have had a car come at me and there was a lamppost and I went beyond the lamppost and the lamppost, he hit the lamppost. And not me. I cheated death that day. Do you not agree or do you agree? Or did I use my intuition? Did I use my movement in order to make sure I fucking cheated death? Because <laughs> I seen the lamppost and I thought, I'm going to stand here because you, it's like a tree. You stand behind a tree just well, like no, a lamppost. I mean, no, no, I but, would... no, but I did. I did because that person wanted to kill me. So what, what, what did I do? I stood behind the lamppost about a metre away, 39 inches. And then, yeah, man, um, I uh, I didn't get hurt. You know what I'm saying? You I cheated like, death. You, I cheated, you, no, you but think about it. I, no, did, how can I lose you? I cheated death. Did, I cheated did you, death. Did your wife apologise? No, but... <laughs> <laughs> the JP, I hope you're doing very well. But I cheated death that day because that bloke was angry, bro. Do you get where I'm coming from? You're like, seriously, man. I was only like a young, I was only like 15, 16. Well, I had a problem with a bloke, and boom, he drove his car into a lamppost. Luckily, it weren't okay, me. He okay. tried to go for me, but I cheated death. That's the same thing. Your actions are. The reason why you you over dodge it, or you know, okay. it's a hard one saying cheat death. Come on, okay. Because so, have you cheated death? Have you cheated death? I don't believe that I ever have. Yeah. But let me, okay. Let 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 me ask this because I'm I'm trying to to to. Okay, I, I wish you were here when um, Crazy Train was on because. We were, you know, she brought up divine um, uh, intervention. We talked about DNRs. Um, we talked about, you know, people who have cancer. You know, if you, and again, if you have cancer, and no offense to anyone who does, I'm not trying to offend anyone. Um, if you have cancer and you get these chemo and all, and all, all this other stuff, is that a way of cheating death? You know, if you get a... Sadly enough, mate, you're trying to help yourself, aren't you? Okay. All right. All right. So, so again, I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, throwing different th things out, out there. No, no, I uh, agree. Just... No, I understand where you're coming from. But, yeah, like, if someone's taking chemo, like, at the end of the day, all they're doing is trying to eradicate the bad cells but in the end with chemo you end up eradicating the good cells as well sadly enough and you're lucky to be alive after it so it's a fucking it's a horrible movement but like a uh, big up everyone who's done it and in remission and and they're good because you know there is hope there is hope and i don't think you cheat in death i, I think that we're just surviving, you know. I don't like the, the terminology of cheating death. I don't like it, to be honest. I'm not going to be too, too... I'm not cheeky to you. I think you're brilliant, solid. I love your movement. But, um, but yeah, in my own opinion, I'd, yeah, cheating death is more of like, ooh, death. Like, 
you know, we're all going to die. We're all going to go, you know, in our own time. And, you know, the only thing we can do is, like you said, not what I said, sorry, is your actions speak louder than words, you know, and it's what you do for yourself, you know. Like me, I could, I, I'm, I'm a hypocrite because, I, you know, I contaminate my body as much as I work and do what I need to do. So I ain't no fucking <laughs> preacher, but I think that uh, for everybody, we've all got our own demons, but, you know, but yeah. you're good people and that's it. And you're not cheating, death, you're living. Fuck okay. death. All right. You're living. You're okay. living. Trust me. Okay. All right. So uh, Saturday, did you want did you want to pop in and say anything else? Because I have another question about cheating death. <laughs> yeah, I guess I was just going to say something about like divine intervention. Like to me, that's just like so egotistical. Like, oh, God wait, 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 you're, wait. You're saying divine intervention is is egotistical? Yeah. To think that like God saved you you know, out of all of the things, right? Like, it, it to me, it just doesn't make sense. Like, why would God, God save one person over another person? You know, again, it's, 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 it's interesting. I wish you guys had been here at, at the beginning because Crazy Train, she had all these, I mean, <laughs> she had all these different reasons, you know, because again, because I asked her the same thing. Why would, you know, God save you and not the person that is sitting next to you, you know? So again, is divine intervention is, do you be leaving that? So, so instead of saying, can you cheat death? Is it divine um, intervention or is it just luck? Yeah, I, I, I would tend towards the luck piece of it and, and not, I mean, and not if someone believes it's divine intervention or, you know, believes that they cheated death there's nothing wrong with that it's you know if that makes them feel better or you know okay so let, there's, let there's me nothing wrong with it no, you know if you no, don't get run no. over because you you look twice and you didn't get run over you cheated death you could say and it skimmed past you the wind mirror hit you, you know, all right you know you know what i'm coming from now it's like you could look at it in many angles you put you you know as you got intuition you got movement you you know you can't buy uh you can't buy shit from the shop to get you know your own movement going for your own brain and that's am, that's the thing i am going to initiative uh, you can't read. buy initiative from the shop okay caps, that's I, I, caps i'm 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 going to read some some of these comments um crucible says is there a difference between cheating death and postponing death and Cap says it's how you look look at it. So, smoke to what you said about divine intervention. If you have someone who is religious or they believe in God, then they will say that divine intervention is possible. I mean, you know, there have been, you know, I I remember uh uh um. Uh, in, in 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 Chicago when they were working on um a uh building downtown someone was sitting in their car and one of those those things that knocked buildings down uh fell loose and someone was sitting in in their car and the thing that ball stopped literally short i mean it broke the man's window and everything but it stopped short of killing him is that luck? Is that divine intervention? I mean, what is that? I, I would just call it luck. Like it's, it was just, it was just lucky. I mean, yeah, it's pure luck. Yeah. But you, I mean, but you, you hear, you but you hear it. stories, you but you, it. okay, but you hear stories about people. You know where that happens. You know, so uh, see, I think that there's a higher being being there. That that's just not luck. That there was someone. You know, the way I when I when I heard of, about it, I looked at it as because I do believe in God. I do believe it was like Jesus was sitting in front of that person, and that intervention was there. 
where he was able to literally get out of his car and walk away. So. Well, I, I think Caps and I are both engineers. So we look at it from the standpoint of, well, why did the ball fall? You know, maybe somebody didn't do a good inspection of it or something. You know, why, why didn't God give that guy who was doing the inspection of it the, the brains to, hey, there's something True. wrong with this ball? True, but okay, but at, at the same time, maybe maybe it wasn't for the person who was supposed to be responsible for that particular ball or whatever. Maybe the, 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 the lesson and the message was for the person who was sitting in, in, in his car. Maybe he was going through something where he needed to have faith on something or whatever, and the message wasn't for the person who was responsible, but for the person who almost got hit. Yeah, and I mean, that's where I guess it, it, it falls. As someone who's not religious, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, okay, all right. It, it, so I'm that, going to go to Crucible. Welcome. Hello, everybody. Um, yeah, this is an interesting topic. I, and I, I, my view on this, I think, is similar to other people. So I don't think there's anything novel about what I'm gonna, about to say. Um, at least I've heard a lot of people talk this way. In my belief, and I'm not a super religious person, but I did grow up, um, you know, learning religion and being taught religion. And what I've always been taught, and I, and I believe, I don't necessarily believe in divine intervention, but I believe if you believe God created the earth and created all of us as individuals, then I believe that he has a plan for all of us. He knows when we're going to be born. He knows when we're going to die. And he has a pretty good idea of what's going to happen in between. So when you say cheat death, cheat death really in a literary sense means to overcome very, very long odds in a particular situation, whether it's a, a possible fatal event or just a, a business situation where your odds of winning in that situation are overwhelmingly against you and yet you prevail. But you probably could still a week or two later be in a similar situation and succumb to that because the, the previous instance wasn't your time, but the next instance would be your time. Um, so I, I think it's all written beforehand and i think when we um you know to your example you're sitting on a, on a construction site or you're sitting someplace and something falls and hits the person next to you and you you survive and that person dies i don't think that's divine intervention because i agree with whoever was saying why would god choose to save you and not the person next to you i don't think god picks and chooses the person next to you was supposed to go then and, and you weren't. So I look at it in a very simple way. I can't prove any of it. I have no science behind it. I'm just kind of what I was what I was taught. But I think when you cheat death, you're just postponing it. We're all gonna die. But I think in the literal sense, it just means surviving a precarious situation in which you could have succumbed. So. Okay, all right. Um, but again, I don't think God picks or, or chooses, but I do believe that he you know, gives us, us us lessons. And again, going back to the movie, and I know I'm talking about a movie, but I'm using it as as a, a guide because some of the things that happened in that movie have actually happened, you know. So, um, you know, do you think that is possible when people have these um, these freaky deaths, whatever, you know, you know, it's like, wow, they actually died by by that you know that's just freaky whatever um is that something that i mean like why do some people die in cases like that but some people just die and die die in their sleep i mean i don't know i guess what i'm trying to say is can i i i, need, <laughs> I know what i'm trying to say but it's but it's but it's not coming out right um when people die and crucible said if the person sitting next to you didn't die but you did and god does not pick or or choose if i'm falling if i'm on working on a building and i start to fall and i'm trying to grab onto something and i grab onto you and you make me fall. Was I supposed to fall? Like, was I supposed to be, I mean, like, how come, you know, why did you grab me? I mean, you understand what I'm saying? It's like, 
Was I? Also I would say so yes. I would say yes in that situation. I would say yes. I think it's part of the same example that I just tried to give. You were not maybe supposed to die that way, but if that person grabbed you and brought you down with them, then it was both of your times. I think okay. if, you, if, you tr if you track with what if what you agree with what I said previously, and you don't have to, but if if what I said has any plausibility to it, then what you just said would be consistent with that. You would it would be your time. Okay, so you just cleared cleared up how how I wanted to say this. So so you said I make that I was supposed to die, but maybe not that way. So if I wasn't supposed to die that way, was I supposed to die? That's a fair point. That's a fair point. I mean, it's a good question. It's a good question. And as I was answering it, I started to think I maybe I'm contradicting myself here because I guess technically, if you were supposed to die that day, um, does God get to the point where he knows how we're going to die? So if, you, if, if, I, if I'm being consistent, and I don't, I'm not sure I just was, I think you just kind of kind of caught me there, Solid. If I'm being consistent, then if you were supposed to die that day, then maybe you were supposed to die that way. I don't know that you can separate the two. Okay, all right. Uh, Alpha Mike says, if you die, then you die. There's no uh, God to pick or choose. Hey, can okay. I speak? Yeah, go, go ahead, Kevin. Uh, like, look, 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 like, you see me, I see life as quite simple. Like, you grow, like, you know, just like an animal, you know, you grow, you reproduce, you protect, you try and get better as much as you possibly can in what you've got in front of you. And you get older and you, again, try and protect and hope that them little ones love you and you, and then you die. And it's, it's, not, it's not actually hard when you think about it. It's quite easy to... The movement. We ain't, we ain't got many. We ain't got many years in front of us. No one has. <coughs> when you look at it, it's shit, really. But but it's life, you know. And we just do as much as we possibly can. Some people don't do that. They they don't give a fuck about anybody, and they don't try for anybody. That's the problem with people. But there's certain people that do. And I want to leave my kids with an empire if I can. Do you understand? I understand what, what, what you're saying, but I think we're getting a little bit off topic. No, but the thing is, you cheat in death. Cheat in death comes against everything. I could walk across the road and see a stone, and I could literally stop someone from getting killed because of my intuition, and I could literally look at that stone and think, if that clipped a tyre and shot in someone's face, that could end their life, and I've moved that stone. Do you get where I'm coming from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. But you, 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 cheating death is all around you. you. It's your it's movement. Ready. It's your initiative. If you've got initiative, you know, you can't buy it from the shop. You've, you've got to know how to survive, and that's how you get taught. You start like crossing the road. You could cheat what? death by missing a, a van that went past a corner, a blowing corner that you didn't see. But when you think about it, it's like if you're worthy of knowing about traffic and movement, you should already know that you shouldn't automatically just step forward. Do you get where I'm coming from? So, again, it's how you get taught. Do you not agree? Come on. It's not about cheating death. It's about learning life. Okay. So, okay. Okay. I, I understand what, 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 what you're saying. So... So everyone, let let me ask this: Are is everyone familiar with the um, with Passover and and what Passover yeah. means? Passover, what? Yeah, explain. Give okay. me a synopsis. Right, right. So, um, do you? Okay, so God, if if. They put. Um, I'm more of an atheist than a god. You know, you know, you know, yeah. you know. This was during during Moses' time. Um, if they put um, blood over their doorway, God would spare their first. You know, that's a load of bollocks, don't you? 
Okay, well, Caps, just let me, <laughs> let me whatever. So again, you can either believe. No, it or come on. Not. Yeah, you, you can oh, be caps, stupid. Caps, 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 caps. Can I please? Oh, talk? sorry. Thank I'll you. shut the fuck up. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. So, again, this is 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 in is in the Bible, and it depends upon whether you believe it or. You know, when you go to prison, can I just say one thing? Okay, Caps, 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 no, wait, wait, no, no, wait, hold on, Caps, I want to finish what I'm saying. Uh, When you go to prison, you get given a Bible, why? Because it's a rule book, it's a load of bollocks, man, you know in yourself. Okay, Caps. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. This is your warning. Okay, so, so you can either be, leave that, or you can or you cannot. So going to what Crucible uh, said, um, because Crucible, you said it a, a, a couple of times on various shows about God picking and choosing. So let's take it to something else. Let's say that you're in war and the enemy says, you better do this if you want to, to save your life. You better say this, and if you don't, we will kill you. If you say what they want you to say, and you live, is that cheating death because you're actually going against what you really believe that, you know, you just want to live, so you're just going to say anything? Is that cheating death? I mean, is God picking and choosing then, or is man Picking and choosing is is God not putting that person there to say, well, you you can live and you can die. I mean, is that picking and choosing then? Crucible I don't think or so. smoke? Okay, yeah. smoke. Yeah, I don't I don't think it's cheating death because I mean, you could say what they want you to say and they could still kill you. So, yeah, I don't. I agree with I would agree with um, Saturday that I, I I think God what he's doing in that situation. Just my opinion is. He's not picking and choosing, but he's putting you in a position where you're able to make a, a, um, a decision of your own volition. So if he has a role, it's in putting you there to decide. And he's not deciding. He decided to put you there so you can decide. That's not the same as him deciding, I don't think. If I, just, I might have just confused myself. <laughs> so what do you think about the Passover? Do you think it's a bunch of uh, uh, crap the way Cap said? Or do you think that that really happened? Or I, I think people wrote about yeah. it. I don't I don't think that it I don't it, it's it's actually not that dissimilar from like what we're talking about now. It, it's right. People trying to explain things that they can't explain. <laughs> and so you create a you create a story or you create something and if it makes you feel better it makes you feel better that, there's nothing wrong with that it's just as someone who's in my for me I, i'm just more logical about stuff and you know it, it doesn't make sense but that doesn't mean it didn't happen i could be wrong and what's the difference between i mean you bring up a good point salad um I'm familiar with Passover. I'm not a Jewish person, but I, I know lots of them and I, they celebrate it and I know what the what, what the origins of it are. Um, but it's a story. Like Saturday said, it's a story. And the Bible is full of stories and nobody was there to, to verify any of it. So no, could, they're not Chinese the, whispers. You could ask the same question about the Bible, I suppose. I mean, what what's to say it actually happened? There were people who believe it happened, but we don't know for sure. So I believe Passover happened. I don't have any reason not to. What do you mean, Passover? What we explained? What do you mean, Passover? Basically, it was like the during the time of the plague and the religious leaders. What, in what, uh, in 1666? Uh, 66, 66. No, this is like no. a, a plague in like the Bible. So like okay. before Jesus was born. And basically, the religious leaders told their their believers that they had to paint you use sheep's blood to cover their door or something like that over so the that top the of their, ev- their door yeah yeah so that the evil spirits would pass by their house and- no not evil spirits so that death would pass by their house yeah so yeah so death would pass by the house and wouldn't kill their firstborn so i mean you know sounds like a cult to me 
All right. So, um, um, Jill, welcome. Thank you for being patient. I think Chill just came for his music. Chill, you there? Okay, I'm gonna keep, I'm going to keep going. All right, so you know, and I know that you know, and again, I wish you guys were here when you know, crazy train was uh, talking because she just she said so much <laughs> you know, and to me she made a lot of sense you know so i was throwing stuff at her and she was you know throwing stuff 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 back you know but i mean when again i'm going back to the movie because, <laughs> because the movie was just so interesting to me it was just such an interesting movie and the way they did it um uh, Caps, can you mute because you have some music that's coming through? Tight rose, man. Yeah, you, know yeah. you? you have Did some you background. we uh, running music. up that road. Okay, there we go. I, I muted it for him. Okay, so I mean, I think that it's possible to cheat done, you know. And again, you hear about people who are in a plane crash or a car wreck or whatever. Why does one person walk away and you're all in the same car and some people die or some people they break their leg whatever why do you walk away when you get hit by a drunk driver why does the drunk driver why are they usually the ones that walk away but the person who they hit are usually you know either dead or they end up you know clean to a uh, life i mean uh chill did you want to are are yeah, you back I'm, I'm, what's happening okay. everybody um yeah so this whole subject is kind of like I, I think jp mentioned it like a little bit earlier i feel like who are humans to think that we matter that much to to God, we're taught that our God puts us first and we're the center of the universe when there's a huge universe <laughs> of important things that, that 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 makes things run. I don't think there's no such thing because it's just, I don't think he cares that much. I mean, not to say he doesn't care, but we're all a death. The, he doesn't even see death like we see death. We think death is like, ah, it's the, ah, but nah. nah. Not so much, especially if he knows what's going on, going on after life. If energy changes, if there is an afterlife, he may be calling his soldiers home for important reasons, and that's more important than anything. And we are on the like, oh man, you know, dang, it's so bad that they don't, they died too early, or they went out like that. I don't think it's it's. I think that we don't really fathom in our little peon brains. We don't really fathom what is the actual holistic scope of things. And we got a tendency to make sure, like, oh, well, we taught that the things in this world, this universe, were put here for us. And we're the, just because we're the most intelligent, I don't know if you can call it intelligent species, that we, um, you know, we're, it's here for us. And I think that's egotistical. And so I don't think, I, I, I mean, coincidence is coincidence. You get that every day. I mean, but. I don't know if necessarily cheating, because I, I don't think he, he even views death. Death could be for a legitimate cause, you know. Um, it could be an honorable thing in some people's right, you know. At some at some point, you know, some some people want to go to Bahala, right? They want to die the right way, and then and, and they, you know, so you know what I mean. So I don't think I don't think I think, I think we'd be way off when we think like that. If you, I mean, I could probably explain it a little bit better, but I think just, we'd be way off. No, I agree with you completely. Like, you're right. Yeah, no, he's so right. And I love, uh, chill. I hope you're doing very well. And like, seriously, this is the thing, and this is what we do. You know, we can look at everything, but you know what you need to do in life is see what's around you. You know, the more we get older, we see death, don't we? They didn't cheat death. They got older and they died. You know, and sometimes you do cheat death, but I'll tell you what, 
You look, you know, everyone, you, you're lucky to be alive. Man. Uh, I, I mean, I, I know that we are all going to die. We're all going to die of something one day, you know, but at the same time, um, like I asked Smoke, you know, do you think that some people die too early? Were they supposed to die? Um, you know, um, you know, you just look at the whole thing of just, cheating death again why did this person live and this other person die yeah i get that all the time my missus is mom and dad died at the age of like 60 you know so um you know that's horrible isn't it and it's like she ain't got no mom and dad. you know so like, oh, yeah, i've still got my mom and dad. But, okay uh caps you have a lot of back background noise coming through sorry um, sorry okay so um crucible i'm sorry solid i stepped away you'll have to pass the mic for me sorry okay uh smoke yeah i was just gonna say i, I do agree with caps on one thing the, the way will says energy is just great so <laughs> if will could say energy a few more times that would be that would be fantastic. I don't know. That sounds like a little bro, a little bromance go going on there, Smoke. No, I didn't say it was. I didn't say <laughs> no, it was sexy. I, I just said, you know. <laughs> hey, listen, I've got to fuck off anyway. Hey, enough love to everyone. I'll see you soon. All right. Thank, thank you, Caps. Bye. So yeah, you know, you know, again, um, this topic again came from the movie. The movie, the first one especially, fascinated me. Um, the second, third one did, did too, you know, whatever. But just the whole thing about cheating death, you know, and then how you, you know, you really don't cheat death because it's going to catch up with you and somehow, some way, you are going to die. And it just had me just thinking about different ways, you know. Are you cheating death? You know, like I said, if you have cancer or you get that, you know, um, transplant, you know, all of that, is that cheating death? So um, that's where my topic came, came from. So unless anybody has anything else, I'm going to start wrapping it up. Uh, Smoke, you want to give any last words? Uh, just thank you, Solid, for another great show. It's uh, <laughs> always interested. Now, I'll be honest. I'm going to go back and watch uh, Final Destination, but primarily just for the uh, the scene when that chick gets into the uh, tanning bed. <laughs> um, but I appreciate uh, you bringing this topic up today. No, the no the 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 without telling anyone who hasn't, I'm pretty sure everyone has probably seen the movie because it's been out for, for, for so long, but I think the best part, especially in number one, was at the very end with Mr. Big Mouth. That one student that just had a big mouth. That was <laughs> that was the best one. And uh, Boss says, yeah, the tanning bed one is, is the worst. <laughs> I mean that one was bad. That one, that one was uh was uh bad. But yeah, um, you know, and even and even for something like like that, I mean, are you really supposed to die like 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 that? No, you know it's tough. I mean, <laughs> I was just reading today. There there was uh, an actress. She was on. I don't know her, but she was on the show One Tree Hill. And her mm -hmm. husband um, got struck by lightning and died on a golf course, I think, um, recently. And he was only like 35 and she's like 33. And it, you, you think like nobody should be dying on a golf course getting struck by lightning. You know, like we, we should be. <laughs> it's just one of those things like we should be past that, but. We're not. And I mean, you hear about people get struck by lightning and surviving too. So it's just one of those things just makes you, it makes you appreciate life, right? And we should all be doing the best we can each and every day. 
Well, you know what? You 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 just brought up something else. I'm about to wrap. I am about to wrap up the show, but I want to talk about nine eleven for a moment. Uh, Try and cat. Well, welcome. Do you think that everyone who did not get out of the towers that they were supposed to die that 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 day? Meaning that all those people who were walking down the down down the, the stairway, some people made, made made it out. A lot of people didn't. Do you think they were supposed to be there? That they you know that they worked up on a higher floor because that was their time to die. That the people who were on the twentieth floor were able to get out, as opposed to people who were like on sixty something or seventy something. I mean, I think it goes to the whole thing about, you know, your time to die and stuff. And I think as people, it, the survivors, it makes us feel better to think that it, it was their time to go and that, that that's how they were supposed to die. It, it's, it, it's really only, the only people who can talk about it are the people who are still living, right? Right, so, right. So I think it, it's, a, it's like a comforting technique or something that, that we've created. Um, and, and there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, I'm not saying that to be to be like others. Oh, we're just being soft. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. So I, 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 I am of the opinion that I think it was just their time to go. Um, they didn't deserve it, certainly, but it was just their their time. Okay. Um, Bob, Bob says J.P. Morton, who funded the building of the Titanic, cheated death when he came down sick two days before he was meant to be on on the on the titanic and yes um i I had heard that and you had you know other people who also were not who were supposed to be on on the titanic and they and they weren't so were they just lucky you know again is it luck or did you cheat death so uh crucible you have any last words yeah just real quick on 9 11 yeah i guess to be consistent again i yeah i think they were destined to die that day and just to give like a maybe kind of a, an odd example let's just say somebody started working in the world trade center a couple of weeks before 9 11 and they were transferred from the 80th floor to the 100th floor and the next week the, the world trade center came down and everybody below the 80th floor got out and then everybody ab- above the 80th floor was killed well two weeks earlier before that person got transferred, they ostensibly would have lived, right? But they were transferred for a reason because on that day they were supposed to die. But anyway, this is a great topic. I love talking about um, religion and uh, uh, divine intervention, luck, fate, coincidence. Um, it's just a fascinating topic. So great show. Thanks for having me. Uh, thank you for coming up on the panel. Um, and everyone, when I post post the show uh, later on, if you guys, um, I mean, it'll already be on on you on YouTube. But um, if you all wait for me to post it on Podbean, listen to the first part because Crazy Train, I really would like for you to listen to what 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 she said um, because I think that her conversation was really 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 um, it um, interesting. So. Chill, do you have any last words? Yeah, so um, I'm a firm believer. Like a lot of times people say, you know, God don't make no mistakes. And if that's the case, um, uh, cheating death would not even be a thing. If he wants you here, he wants you here. If he don't, he don't. Um, but in the same instance, and I like, especially like things like, um, you know, if, you get, if somebody get a cold, catch a cold, and don't go on the plane. I mean, that's not a, that's not. When you say cheating, I think like a gang, like when you know you got more information than other people to be able to, to counteract a situation, and that's not it. That's why I feel like that's when you say cheating. Well, if you have or, like a escaping, but no, if you not, have a not, feeling, no. if you have a feeling of, of 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 about something, or if something flashes be, be before your eyes, because I do believe that people do get these feelings. So if you have this feeling, isn't that still like an inside thing that you or, know something that or maybe other say, people know? Intuition that I shouldn't go for whatever reason. Um, that's fine, but that still wouldn't be a cheating, right? That would be more of an intuition that you have, right? And so that would be a if you if you believe in God. I, I'm, I'm just referencing God. That would mm-hmm. be something that He would have gave to you. So, 
Um, and like I said, God sees death a kajillion times a day in every aspect of the world. So it's not, you're not that big to him. Like, I mean, not to say you're little, but in the grand scheme of things, death is probably something we can't fathom. And the reasons why, birth and death, for that matter, you know, it's, it, it, you just can't fathom it. And, and for us to really try to figure it out, try to figure it out is fine, but it's, I think we, we can't fathom that shit. It's, 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 it's beyond us. Shit, we can't, you can't figure out how he got the code. How the hell did she deal with the code? We didn't even figure out how the hell we got it. So we we not that much. It's like I like you gotta. I'll be like, yeah, you gotta get over yourself. Um, like especially with like cancers and shit. Like can, we got cancers because we ain't eating right in the fucked up shit that's in this world that we put that we put here. You know what I'm saying? If you believe in God, you, people lived hundreds and hundreds of years, which I believe to some degree because if you ain't eat up eat the the, the air, the water, the shit, you wouldn't be getting cancers in the first place. So how you cheat something you wouldn't shouldn't have had in the first place? If we were in the right environment, can't cheat some shit that you didn't have. Like you know what I'm saying? I mean, but people yeah, have had us. but people have had cancer since since the beginning of of time. They may have called this something right. else, but, but it, it was cancer. Exactly, absolutely, and that's because of our our living habits. For more likely, there's people who hold especially holistically. That that have beat cancer because they changed their habits of some shit. We we probably ain't supposed to eat meat. We probably ain't supposed to do a lot of shit that we do that create cancers. We probably ain't supposed to be watch like be on these phones. We probably ain't supposed to be doing a lot of shit when the reference. There's a lot of shit we ain't supposed to do that decrease our lifespan from the jump. And and so the cancer is a cause of it. You know. So and 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 that's what I'm saying. So I mean, obviously they got de- defects and certain shit that you can't necessarily may help from birth, but shit that you develop is coming from a habit you have had or something that you, that something's around you that affects you like that. And so it's fucked up in the first place. And so to say you cheated it when you shouldn't have had it in the first place or the body shouldn't even, I don't know if that's, that's, uh, um, that's, that's the proper way. But anything I'd be like, you know, I'm getting what I, sh- I'm getting what I should have got back out of my life opposed to cheating it, you know? Um, so, yeah, I, yeah, I, I don't know. I think I think we 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 definitely are egotistical humans. We think the world revolves around us, and every day it shows us with a simple earthquake or a simple tornado, or a simple fucking typhoon. That no, not not really, motherfucker. You need to humble yourself. So. Okay. All right. And welcome, Kimberly Michael. But uh, we are wrapping it up. Um, again, if you guys, when if you guys take the time to listen to the show, listen, please listen to the first first part of it because I think the first part, um, you know, just in terms of when we were talking about cheating death, you know, we really got down into the weeds of it and what have you. But I mean, everyone had valid uh, opinions and comments, you know, whatever. Um, I believe some people do cheat death but it comes back and it'll catch up with you so i think that if you were meant to be on something or you know you change your mind at the last minute um you were you were getting on that ride at at disneyland and for whatever reason you know you said i'm not getting on on this ride because something may happen and the ride flies off the track or something I don't know that's necessarily luck. Is it divine uh, intervention? I would go with that more so than luck. Uh, Did you cheat death? Possibly. So, I don't know. Anyway, guys, um, today is Thursday, which is my Friday. I will not, well, I might do a show tomorrow evening. I don't, I don't know. Um, But um, if not, you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend and uh, wherever you are in the world and uh, go where the wind takes you. (laughs) Bye. Thank you, Kimberly, Trinecat, Sam, I am, Bob, Crucible, Saturday Night Smoke, Crazy Train was here, Jill Whirl, Power Girl, Frankie, Alpha Mike was here, Shy Lady was here. Thank you all. Thank you. Oh, I did. I said you will. 
Shield, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. Caps was here. And Shannon was here too. <laughs> and Dushan pop, popped in. Somebody and Alpha Mike says, right I can cheat death. I am immortal. <laughs> Charlotte, you never cash at me my $5. I'm going to ask somebody else. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> Guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.